This is my review of the Anchor MFI, which stands for Made for iPhone, in case you were wondering, battery case. This one in particular is made for the iPhone 5S. Interestingly enough, though, you'd never know that by looking at the box. It didn't say anything about the 5S on it. But this one is made for the iPhone 5S. Uh, what you get inside the box, you do get an instruction manual. It's clear. It's got words in it, not just pictures. One of my pet peeves when I can't tell what I'm supposed to do. It tells you what to do. Uh, the case itself is pretty um, self-explanatory, but you are going to probably need the instruction manual the first time you use it. It does come with it. It's got a happy or not happy card. Uh, this is your way you're going to use the contact support. If you need the contact support, I don't know why you would, but it also tells you how to contact Amazon if you want to review the case. Uh, getting down to the case itself, mine came with two frames. And these frames, I'll show you how they fit onto the case itself. Uh, mine came with two black frames. Some come with uh, smoke or come with cleared colored frames. These mine are black and are completely opaque. And then there's the battery itself, which is part, which is the forms the back of the case, and uh, we'll show you how that works. Basically, this ends up doubling when you put it together the thickness of the iPhone, and ends up weighing about the same way as the iPhone, which is about th uh, three ounces. The way you put this together is really simple. There's an iPhone connector, or a lightning connector, I should say, on the bottom of the iPhone. You just slide that into the lightning connector on the case itself. Pops into place very easily. Then you put the frame over top of the phone. And you just snap it down, going all the way around until it snaps into place. That's it. It's snapped in. So, uh, really good quality build in terms of the case itself. It feels kind of rubberized, kind of a satin feel. Uh, feels a little bit soft, gives you a good grip on the phone, so you're not going to lose it. It makes the phone a little bit tacky. Uh, now, one thing I do carry my phone in my pocket, so the tackiness makes it kind of hard to slide the phone out. Uh, the overall dimensions of the phone with the case on it, again, it's kind of reminiscent of my iPhone 3GS, the first iPhone I had. It makes it thicker. It's not as elegant and thin as the uh, 4S. The case I normally carry on my phone is a transparent, very thin. I'm a minimalist when it comes to cases. But in terms of a battery case, you're not going to get any smaller than this. Uh, reviewing the ports in the case. It comes with a micro USB connector. This is to charge the case. It will also charge the phone when the phone is in the case. Pros and cons of micro USB. Micro USB is cheap. Uh, you can find micro USB cables anywhere. They're, like I said, they're not very expensive. Um, that's, the, that's the upside of it. Downside is... Everything I have is Apple. I have lightning connectors everywhere. I have an iPad. I, we have iPhones. We have iPods. Um, so we don't have a lot of micro USB cables laying around. It comes with the micro USB cable, which I think I failed to mention. Uh, the micro USB cable comes in the box. Um, but uh, the fact that I do have lightning connectors, that makes it a little bit inconvenient. And I can't charge my case in the car, for example. Uh, the ports are for the sound ports are there on the front of the case. You can see them there. Sound ports on the iPhone are on the bottom, kind of redirects the sound up and towards you, which is kind of nice, actually, because if you're holding your iPhone like this, the sound's actually going down. Uh, if you don't have the case on, the case on it comes up. Uh, another thing this brings me to that comes in the box is if you look right here, you'll see the port where you plug your headphones into. You, can barely, you can't even see it on the iPhone in this picture because it's buried so deep. So the anchor start of pretty much everything. They do give you a connector that plugs into that and extends your headphone ports. Now, some headphones will fit in there. For example, the Apple headphones that come with the iPhone, they're very thin connector and it's straight in, it'll go in there. Most of the headphones I have have a 90 degree connector on it to relieve the tension on the cord. They won't fit, but with this, you know, of course it will. That means you have to carry this thing with you though, so I don't know if you wanna do that or not. Uh, it's got the on and off, or the uh, volume switches here are covered, which most cases do. There's your uh, mute switch. Hard to reach with the case on, but hard to reach with any case on when you have no fingernails like I don't. Uh, your power button is covered here, and you can see plenty big cutout for the camera. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of how the case operates, really simple. Uh, once the case is fully charged, and mine came fully charged, you will see four LED indicators on the back which show you the charge if you press this button. Uh, if you press this button, hold it for three seconds, the power button, it'll start charging the phone. It'll show you how much charge is left. You can see mine is pretty depleted. 
If you press it and hold it for another three seconds, it stops charging the phone. I'm not sure why you want to do that. Now, some people have uh, complained a little bit that it takes the phone quite a while to charge in the case, saying it takes up to two hours to fully charge the, the phone's battery. I don't care. When the, when the case is on the phone, the phone is functional, I can use the phone while I'm charging it. So since the purpose of the, the case, to my mind, is not necessarily to charge the phone, but to extend the battery life, if I'm out somewhere and my phone is down to getting low, I can just go ahead and keep using it by simply charging the case. I don't care how long it takes to fully charge. Someone else said they didn't charge all the way to 100% um, on the battery on the case. Mine did. Again, don't really care. All I'm trying to do is extend the battery life. It works just fine. The build quality of the case is really nice. Feels good in your hand. Doesn't make the phone overly heavy. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised by the pricing of the case on Amazon. Frankly, the case itself now is selling for about the same price as some Apple cases, and it extends the, double, the battery life of your phone without making your phone too big or too heavy. Compared to other battery cases I've seen, this one's great. So I really do like it a lot. I do recommend it, and uh, if you get it, I hope it works well for you.